Hi, I'm Dave Baring, Technical Director here at TriStar, and welcome to another Ask the Expert segment. And today's question comes to us from Robert in New Hampshire. And Robert says, I've seen your video on plain bearing design, and you talk about surface finish being so critical. What if we can't get the finish to your recommended level? What do we do then? Well, Robert, it is very important, surface finish and uh, plastic plain bearings, and uh, plain bearings in general for that matter. Because if we have surface finishes that are outside of the normal design uh, criteria, we're going to run into some significant problems with both wear um, and uh, the, the possibility as well of not having the ability to transfer the lubricating media if by some freak chance the surface finish is actually too good. So a couple of things that we can do. Um, sometimes it's as simple as just taking some emery paper and polishing out the uh, area where the bearing is going to ride. Uh, if you're pulling an old bearing off, it's a, say a rolling element bearing, and you're pulling it off the shaft and it's scored, um, you might be able to get away with just cleaning that up with an emery paper or polishing it out. Uh, um, I've even seen people use uh, um, auto body polishing compounds to try and, and do that. Um, and it works quite effectively. But the, the key factor here is trying to get that surface finish uh, so that it's not so rough that it acts like a hacksaw. Uh, conversely, we've had situations where the surface finish of the shaft or the housing bore are too good, where you've actually got a, a near mirror finish. And in those situations, um, you don't allow the self-lubricating factors to come into play, which is really how polymer bearings work is to get that media transferred into that surface finish that we uh, call out so regularly in our, uh, in our discussions, and that being a 12 to 16 finish, ideally. Um, so in, in, in those rare cases, cases where you might have too smooth of a finish, we recommend that you just take some, again, take some sandpaper, maybe some 80 grit sandpaper, rough up the surface a little bit, and uh, you know the best way to do it without getting all crazy and buying a profilometer or something like that is to simply take your fingernail and do the fingernail test and uh, if you feel just a minimal amount of, of hit on your fingernail as you cross the surface finish you should be okay. Um, if your fingernail catches uh, across that surface then it's too rough and conversely if it just slides across like there's no surface finish then you're too smooth. So. It's a very non-scientific way to do it, but um, in uh, worst case scenario where you can't fix the shaft or can't fix the housing bore, um, it's, it's a quick way to see if you can get close to what we, what we asked to get. One other method that you might consider as well is if you're in a situation where you just cannot clean up the shaft under any circumstances, maybe because of where the equipment is uh, or because you just can't um, get the cleanup to what we need it to be. Um, you can use what's called a speedy sleeve. It's a very common practice for bearings uh, and for more specifically for uh, oil seals. You'll see uh, Chicago Rawhide, which is uh, part of SKF. Um, they make speedy sleeves. Um, we've made custom speedy sleeves for customers. Um, so that's one way to get the surface finish really ideal for a plain bearing as it's ideal for a, um, a rubber oil seal. Um, so that might be something you can take a look at as well. Um, but pay attention to surface finish. We, we harp on that all the time and if you have any questions about what is or isn't a good finish, uh, please be sure and contact us and, and let us help walk you through it. Maybe even send one of our sales engineers to your facility and take a good hard look at the application. Um, because the, the one thing we don't want you to do is make a decision to go to a, a self-lubricating polymer bearing and then have it fail miserably the first time out simply because the surface finish was messed up. Um, it's a simple thing to deal with and it's just paying attention. So uh, again, I invite you to visit our website. We do have a video on surface finish. Um, there are some things on the blog that talk about surface finish as well. So be sure and visit those places and uh, learn a little bit more about this very, very critical part of plain bearing design. Uh, thanks for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you on another Ask the Expert.